channel. There's a DIY channel. We're trying to figure out how to install thumb throttle, right hand thumb throttle that I bought from Amazon. It's got a Julet uh, male connector, three pin. I also went to and bought the female connector so I can adapt this into the display module. Okay, so we have our VSET controller. I am going to open up this controller to see if I can adapt a thumb throttle. First thing I want to check is whether it has the Hall effects, the same Hall effect sensor. The Hall effect sensor on the typical thumb throttle are the, the 49E series. So I'm going to open up and make sure that it is a 49E series. I believe it is. So all we do is take out the screws. This should come off nice and easily. And that's what it looks like from the back. No, this does not spring loose. It's still good. The new design, the new display design is good. It doesn't pop apart. So there is some glue over here. You just rip out the glue with some black glue. Then this cable allows you to move, gives you a little bit more room so you can move this back plate further out. So what we have here is the board itself. So we'll need to take this out. When we take this out, we're gonna lose the spring because there's the Hall Effect sensor. We can't really see the face of the Hall Effect. It's actually not on this side, which is the part that we can see. It's on the other side. Move this. Um, I've already done this before, so I know how to take it out and put it back. It's not that difficult, right? When I pull this apart, it's gonna spring, see? There's the part it is, fortunately, a 49E, let me see. The first pin here is VCC, which should be five to 10 volts. The second pin is ground, and the third pin is the signal out. Right thumb throttle. Part number is, uh, it's right there, 108X, this thumb throttle. So what's in the thumb throttle is this Hall effect sensor right here. You can see right there. There's no circuit board, it's just a direct wire to Hall effect sensor. And as you throttle, the magnet passes the Hall effect sensor, giving the position of where you are at the throttle. Get this Hall effect sensor out so I can see the uh, actual part number. There it is, there's the Hall effect sensor and the number on there. It's an E49 series, so it should be compatible. So we are good there. So the only thing left is to determine where these pins on the Hall effect sensor map to this connector. So I went and bought this female side on Amazon. Plug, this plug seems to be universal. I can try like twist throttles, thumb throttles, compatibility with other models of Hall effect sensor throttling system. I realized that the red is the signal wire, black is ground, and the white is the VCC positive voltage, which should be five to 10 volts. So I'm gonna cut this, solder these wires through there, glue the wires down so that it doesn't rip that board out. The new Hall Fix sensor will be here. Here's what the final product looks like. We got the heat shield in. I'm going to glue this to this board, a temporary glue, not a permanent glue, to this board. Dab this with a little bit of hot glue gun. There. And then I also glue this part with a hot glue gun. Right, to make sure that it doesn't move. Start putting in the screws. The shortest one goes here. Okay. 
Make sure there's no crimp wires under here. This, this should close tight without having any pressure. All right. So these will not fit anymore because you don't have the finger throttle. Remember these go in here. Let's see how it does. Okay, I dab a little bit of red on there so make it easier to see. So the metal starts here, goes down this way. And it stops around here. So that's the magnetic field at least the metal part of it so you can see that we have to be at least here for the sensor to be in the middle of the magnet the VSET sensor you can see that the magnetic pole starts it's actually smaller but it starts the, the sensor actually sits right there in the middle of the uh, magnetic field already so as you push you're already in the magnetic field this you can see it's outside you can see where the red is and where the magnetic field starts it's outside so you have to be at least here and that translates to basically where the throttle will actually start responding and I'm going to put in a set screw something like this so we're gonna drill a hole and be able to put in a set screw right here I should be able to adjust how much I want to go in okay so here's the final product what you see here is a standard 632nd screw. I use a 3 millimeter drill bit with a 632 screw and you can see as I turn in the throttle moves. See? So that way it, by, it uh, sets the default right near where the throttle starts. You probably don't want to be exactly at throttle start so I kept it a little bit behind. I made a line there. That's where the throttle actually starts. But you don't have to go like three, uh, one third of the way in to throttle. It's right there. Just touching it a little bit will start to throttle. We have the display in place. Uh, it's moved towards the center. The thumb throttle is placed right here. You can see. I've already set the set screw so that it is about two three millimeters before throttle actually starts to activate uh, we'll plug this in and see what happens there's display we'll put in the card okay. as I push the thumb throttle Morning.